In this video, I wanna share with you the number one shift that I made to go from zero in my music business for 13 straight years to pretty much suddenly having an explosive year of doing over $164,000 in my music business in the last six months, uh, or I guess the first six months of 2024, doing $90,000 combined in the six months. And it's really one mindset shift that I had as a musician, and I really wanna share it with you because I think it's gonna give you a lot of value. Pretty clear that I didn't plan any of this video at all. I literally just was driving, had the thought, and I'm like, I'm just gonna pull up my phone and film it. Uh, and you know, hopefully somebody finds value and gets some gets some value out of it and you know, maybe feels the authenticity and wants to wants to change their life. So anyway, I just want to share this with you. It's not gonna be super long, but this is really what it was. Uh, essentially, you can tell who's doing well in the industry in music and in really any industry based on their intentions. And wh what do I mean by that? If you're an artist, here's, here's the thing with most artists, recording artists, singer, songwriters, rappers, whatever. Essentially, the reason that you're not making money is because you're selfish. Artists and musicians cry and cry themselves to sleep every single night that they aren't making enough money, that people aren't giving them enough attention, that their music isn't going anywhere. And that's all they do is pretty much complain. And the truth is, the reason is because you're selfish, because you're not actually providing any value to the market. You're not treating yourself like a business. What you're doing is you're doing this thing that you love to do and you expect and are entitled and you think that you should get something out of it just because you do this thing, because you have this gift. Well. I'm sorry to break it to you, but like your gift, although you might be really good at making music, it's not special. You're not actually giving anybody anything. And what I've really started to learn was when I turned 23 years old, I'm 30 years old now, but when I was 23, I had been already doing music for about six, seven years, and I was only doing songwriting, recording, and rapping. And I was like, man, I'm really limited by my skills. I'm not making money from my music. In fact, I'm losing money because all I'm doing is spending money on beats, mixing, mastering, and trying to figure it out myself. That's when I decided, look, I don't really know how I'm going to make it in music. All I know is I'm just going to focus on the next immediate step, which is like I need to acquire more skills. So the next set of skills I got was producing. And I remember saying something really, really, really impactful to myself that I think a lot of you are not doing. I said to myself, here's the deal. I don't care how I make money in music. I just care that I do music and make money with that. That's it. I didn't want to go do something else. I didn't want to go to start an SMMA. I didn't want to start drop shipping. I didn't want to start affiliate marketing. I didn't want to go do, be a high ticket closer. All of those things I did. I knew that I wanted to make money with music, but I didn't care how I did it. And that was the key difference between why I've made six figures in the last year and why I've pretty much made almost six figures in the last six months and why you haven't. Because artists get really, really up in their feelings and they just want to make money their way. You know what? I'm an artist. I'm an artist. I don't do that. I don't do, produ I don't do producing. I'm going to leave the producing to the producers. Even if you know how to produce and you have the opportunity to start getting high paying clients who you could produce music for. No, I don't do that. That's not me. That's not what I want to do. I'm not a producer. That's stupid because I never wanted to do any of that either. I'm, I do coaching now. I never wanted to do coaching. I wanted to originally be an artist. And you might watch it like, well, you failed at the artist career, so that's why you're coaching. No, dude. The reason I left the artist career was because it made no sense for me why, how I could make real money from that. How? Selling low ticket tickets? Selling tickets to a show? selling low ticket albums. I've done all that. I've sold tickets to shows. I've sold merch. I've even sold CDs off paid ads. I've sold low ticket items. Low ticket meaning things that cost $1, $5, $10, $20, $50, $100, $150, $100, $500, all these low ticket items. $500 you're starting to get in the mid ticket, but you get what I mean. Low ticket things. Tickets cost 20 bucks. Tickets cost 40 bucks. Shirts cost 50. CDs are 15 or 10. I was like, dude, how am I gonna even make 10K a month? I gotta sell a thousand CDs per month? What if I could sell somebody something for like 500 bucks or a thousand bucks or 1500 bucks or 2K or 2.5K or 3K? I've even sold things for 5K in the music realm. 
why would I try to sell things for $10 when I could sell things for more? Even selling something for $500, that's a big difference. That's 50 times more than $10. Or is that five? No, yeah, 50 times more. But I didn't say to myself, well, I'm not a producer. I don't want to be a producer. That ain't me. Dude, that's fucking stupid. Would you rather say this is me and I'm broke? Or would you rather just suck it up, go actually do something that could make you a lot of money, even if it's not what you originally planned? So that's really the main mindset shift that I've made that's helped me make six figures in my music that you're not making. You keep doing these things that aren't making you money and their their math never really plays out for you, but you feel good and you feel like you're doing the right thing because you're just so self-absorbed that you're not actually willing to go do something that's gonna actually offer more value to the marketplace because you don't wanna get uncomfortable because you don't you're not you're not tough enough or you're not disciplined enough. That's literally the truth. Hope this video helped. I had no intention of like really scripting the video or like even having a call to action. Like I don't care. Just literally, if you really want to change your life and you really want to, first of all, start producing your own music, you can do it. If you want to start making real money with your music, you can all, you can also do that. If you want my help doing that, you can click the link below to book a call with me to figure out how I can help you do that. If you don't want to do that, that's also fine. At the very least, I hope this shifted some beliefs and uh, help change your life. So have a good one. Talk to you on the next one. Peace.